Alright, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So I'm going to do a Bitcoin and miner stock video here. Whenever I start my normal videos, I'm looking at the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, the Dow Jones. I need to know how the indices look, right? When I'm looking in this sector, I need to know how Bitcoin looks, right? If Bitcoin is doing well, I got to believe the miners are going to be doing well, right? If Bitcoin is struggling, obviously that's my thought there, right? So I'll look at a couple of the smaller ones. I'll look at a couple of the bigger ones. And if I got time, I want to look at Coin and Robinhood as well. So um, if I had to guess, I'm going to probably chapter Marathon and Riot together. And then I wanted to look at, I mentioned them here. Which ones were they? Not there, right here, one second. Dun, 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 dun. Right here, okay, Wolf, BTBT, and Hut. Those three will be a one, two, three. And then, like I said, if I have time, I'm gonna look at Coin and, um, and Hood, okay? But looking at this Bitcoin chart, there are, there's obviously things to like when you're looking at a number of green candles over all the, five moving averages, right? But I'll be honest with you, I want just a little bit more on Bitcoin, okay? So what does that mean? Look, this candle right here breaks basically two at least, right? Maybe kind of three, but at the minimum, this one breaks two moving averages, right? We were clearly below the eight and the hundred, right? We're now above it and knocking on the door on the 200, okay? This candle again breaks another two right there, right? So this is a nice candle of that one, but this one now needs Needs confirmation. Look, this is not a confirmation candle. In my book, I would actually call that a doji. That's probably a little loose for some people, but I actually would call this a doji. This does not confirm this. Yesterday's daily was a nice on Bitcoin, but again, today's isn't quite beautiful just yet. And again, kind of reminds me of this one. So yeah, I'm seeing five up there, but I'm not seeing confirmation just yet, okay? But what I do really like on the daily is this low 63 RSI, this positive MACD with green over red on both. Oh, excuse me, a little hiccup. And then more than anything, this weekly is setting up pretty nicely, okay? The weekly has a decent RSI at 60. The weekly is giving us a nice little answer to this doji, right? But again, I'm gonna need next week's candle to confirm, okay? It, it, it seems good, believe me, but again, we need confirmation. Five candles are beautiful, but again, if they don't confirm, it, it's, it's not the best five candles, right? So look, what has been happening on Bitcoin for a while, it's actually been the same story on a couple of the last videos. When you have too many moving averages, this one literally has all five of them too close. You go from the bottom to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the, top, to the top to the bottom to the top to the bottom to the top right like you literally get thrown in what i often call a tornado right the one big thing i also see is this 200 moving average so we are kind of oscillating up and down on the line the line itself is going up which is at least a good thing right so um it's been a battle with this 200 but yeah more than anything i think it's just been a a, a throwing of the of the moving averages. Look, I like Bitcoin. On the 14th, I was saying that Bitcoin's making a real attempt to break it, you know what I mean? So I, I, I had my eyes on this thing, right? And again, it made a nice move since the 14th, but oh, I, I either need this daily candle today to close significantly. Like I would have, I would have been all right with the wick. I actually needed to, where, where do I need? Let's, let's, let's make that part of this video. What's this line right here, right there? I need this to close on the daily, and this being Bitcoin, I need Bitcoin to close over 68,672. All right, I'm basically calling it nine cents higher than my mouse is right there. I'll draw that line. Let's go ahead and draw that line just to have it. No, that's a little too low. I think that's a little closer to, to half right there. All right, whatever, this says 68.6. I like the number I said moments ago. Either way, you know I'm not here for perfect. I'm here for good enough, right? But half of this candle, that still seems a little low. I think I'm, I'm being a little OCD with it. I think that's a better line right there. All right, that's better. 
I don't even know if that was the same number for all I know, but you can see half of this is kind of the, the tops and bottoms of some of this, and it's almost half of that as well, right? So I can see that like almost 69 being a wall. You break that 69, we're probably gonna be coming up to that 71 right there. Again, I like the I, I like the lower indicators on the daily. I like the lower indicators on the weekly. Neither has given me the confirmation. And again, as much as I like this one too, that's not confirmation. All right, number one, the week the week's not done, right? We still got a couple days left. We we have no idea where this candle is gonna close. Number two, a doji never counts. It never counts as that first one, it never counts as that confirmation second one, right? So this is a good setup, but I'm gonna need next week to drop the hammer and confirm, right? If this was to come back down, I just saw the candle go up. I love that, you know that. If this was to come back down, what's your 50%? I think that's too low. I don't think we're gonna come back that low. I think that's too high. Yeah, I think this is my, my number. I, 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 I think it would be really hard for this to go below 65,000. I think if we lose 65,000 on Bitcoin, it'll actually be a fast drop below 63 to the 62 seven ish range. But yeah, I think that 65 is a, is a pretty good line right there. So um, yeah, and look at that, that 65 roughly is the top bottom and also top of this right there. I like, I, I think 65, I don't think it'll go much lower than 65. And also look, we got a golden cross on the eight, the eight's probably gonna keep coming up. So. Um, yeah, I think that I think the important line is going to be sixty nine thousand roughly, um, and let's see if the miners can take advantage of that. All right, so that was my Bitcoin view again. On any normal stock, I'm going to look at. I don't want to say normal like this is happening, but on any non crypto, right? I would look at the indices here. I got to look at Bitcoin. All right, I actually had Trading View open. There was this one thing I wanted to show. I guess just since I have it, because look, when I look at on this view they just started covering Bitcoin. So I don't have the old data. I have to use this view to get like the, the old, old, okay? I'm showing the 20 moving average, it's the simple. That's the exact same simple moving average that I have on this view, all right? So from September 23 onward, it's gonna look the same. I'm using it for the before, okay, right? So it like right about here, it looks the same, whatever. You can see, we, I'm, I'm gonna kind of ignore, I don't even need to ignore it, let's, okay. So we're bouncing, bouncing, we lose the, the, the 20 very quickly, right? We're over it, we lose it very quickly, we lose it very quickly, we lose it very quickly. We don't actually kind of use it, but you can say we do, we lose it very quickly, right? So literally, from, from the day this thing started, through basically what late 2021 this 20 moving average on the weekly view has been insignificant okay all of a sudden and and again i'm coming back and we can actually look at it on on this view here right all of a sudden we're oscillating on the thing a little more okay i don't know if you watched my video yesterday but one thing i mentioned was when a line goes from this horrible resistance basically right this when the line goes from, I can't support, I can't support, I can't support, I can't support to, mm, I'm trying to hold it, mm, I'm trying to hold it, you're, you're in the beginning phases of, is this line trying to become a friendly longer term support, right? So it hasn't happened yet. There's some really good signs here, right? But again, we're here to set a higher criteria. We're here to, to hope for good, not hope, but we're here to do more than just hope for good things, okay? So um, I think the last thing I wanna do, yep, yep, I need to change this to a yellow golden line. That's the last thing I wanna do here. Cool, that's my Bitcoin review right there. Let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, even if you disagree, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go into the first chapter of both Marathon and Riot. So I tend to chapter these two together because I feel like they tend to kind of move together. There's been a little bit of a break and honestly, I don't even know what Riot looks like. I truly look at Marathon just a little bit more. Okay, there's some similarity. So I see the up and down, big drop and kind of taking off with Marathon, nice. I see the up and down, drop, and then kind of trying to take off, okay? It's interesting to see that Riot, I actually, oh no, it doesn't. Okay, 
So I wanted to say Riot looks better, and I guess in some ways you can say yes and no, all right? So why do I? Why did the Riot chart catch my eyes? Look, red, 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 red could make a nice green, 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 especially when you have good channel spacing, all right? A channel could be anything. It could be the lines that I draw manually. It could be the spacing between moving averages, right? From the 50 to the 100, that's a nice channel, and you can see it basically filled the whole thing. From the hundred to the two hundred again that's a really nice channel right there it's a little more than ten percent I'm happy when they're good double digit channels right on top of that red 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 could make it an easier green 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 right when I look at marathon you know I do I, I agree I think riot is the better chart this actually doesn't have a good channel right you're going from here to here that's a little on the tight side right so to me Marathon made a good move in this channel, but the next one's not not as good, right? So Riot would get my attention. If Riot continues, oh man, it, it seems like this thing's hungry for 1030 plus. Let me see if there's a line worth drawing. What are you right there? This seems like a big line. Ah, sorry, that was a louder noise that I wanted to make. That was me thinking to myself right there. My apologies. Do I want to draw this? I don't think I do. Oh, you have it again right here. All right, I'm going to leave the line. I'm going to leave the line. Look, I don't know how strong 975 is. And hey, for all I know, Riot might battle the hook. Because again, we, we're, we're clearly physically over it. But that's just a doji. That don't count. That don't mean anything. I still don't know. I need to believe a little bit more that we've broken that 100 moving average, right? Maybe we'll battle the 100 as the 200 comes down. It'll come a little closer to that line. But yeah, if we break, again, break the 100, I got to believe you're going to come to the 200. I think that's a decent trade right there i am comfortable lowering this line to here let's let's take it to there i think that's that's a better place i really like riot if it can break 1113 if you break 1113 i mean look at that channel right there red 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 green red green 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 red 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 green 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 red like that's a fast 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 moving channel Oh my, my, I love this thing over 11 something, okay? With Marathon, that's essentially what I need. I need it to break this line before I even like it. I think I'm gonna lower it to there. I'm cool with that. No, I don't like that. I think that's the better line. Because that's half of that candle, half of that, bottom of that, bottom of that. I like that. I would not, I actually would not touch Marathon under $20.80. $20 but break that basically, let's call it 21. Oof, it seems like a fast, fast channel. Again, green, green, red, red, green, green, red, red, right? Like, look at this thing. That could be a fast 50%, right? I'm basically rounding, but you're basically putting 10 bucks on a $20 stock, right? So, um, Marathon seems like the weight comparatively. I think Riot, if it if it can make the move on the 100, really wants that 200. And again, I don't think that 975. Make sure you're keeping an eye on Bitcoin. Bitcoin needs to keep going up for these two to keep going up in my opinion, right? So um, did I look at the weekly for both? What's Marathon's weekly? Ah, yeah, look at that thing, right? That's a really, really noisy weekly. My, my 2080 line is actually over all of that. This is kind of saying maybe I should have kept my line up here at like 22-ish. Again, different risk reward tolerances, different time frames. Decisions could be made right there, right? Did I look at Riot's weekly chart? Again, this ain't that bad. This actually says this line makes a lot of sense, that 10 something. You know what I mean? So the weekly has a nice channel, the daily has a nice channel, Riot comparatively looks good between these two, all right? Let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. So the next tranche I wanna look at is BTBT, okay? Wolf and Hut. I like these three a lot more than the last two, all right? And I will be honest, on the Discord, I know I mentioned BTBT. Oh, look at that, Mr. Onion. When was that? Oh, that was a while ago. Yeah, I talked about it yesterday. It did do nicely today. 
Um, and then I talked about the other two earlier this morning. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking these, right? And to me, these are the smaller players, right? And look, a guy like me who likes these parabolic movers, this is where you go to come look for these, right? So um, real quick, please, if you can subscribe, if you can share, that'd be much appreciated, right? So Hut hasn't done it yet right? Hut is trying to break all the moving averages, but as you saw, as I was flashing through them, oh, I, I disagree. Wolf is also still trying. Look, again, I said the exact same thing on Bitcoin. I realized that's a good five in a row. That is the first candle. Yesterday was the first candle that got, oh, I actually disagree. I'm sorry. Monday was the first candle that got over all five. Tuesday stayed over all five. Today's Wednesday was nice. This is not confirmation. Doji's never count. I need tomorrow to follow through. So Wolf actually hasn't escaped, but clearly has escaped more than Hut, right? BTBT was the one that escaped, and I would call this confirmation. Right when we were looking at Bitcoin right here, I didn't like that back and forth right there. That wasn't enough, right? Even these two, that one's too small for this one to be good, right? BTBT, nice candle yesterday, good candle today. Oh, excuse me. That tells me kind of confirming right there. And that's, that's, that's making me think this thing wants to come up here to 420 right? Yeah, literally 420 is actually the close right there. Do I have any other lines up? Oh man, my next line up is actually 480. I think that's a little high. I'm surprised I didn't take that 50%. Oh, I did it for that, I guess. Let's keep it at 430. I'll, 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 I'll lower the line to that 435 right there. But hey, you saw it moments ago. It was at 480 a bit ago, right? And hey, this zoomed out. Look at that. RSI is only at 50. We've been as high as the 70s for, you can see a good number of these peaks. Um, oh, that December one's a little later than ideal. But yeah, back in December of last year, this thing was pushing the 90s, right? So um, volume's been nice on BTBT for sure. As we look at the rest, like I said, it's kind of a lot of the similarities, right? We're trying to get over to all the moving averages. Good, good channel right here. Six, six bucks seems not that far away right here, right? Volume's picking up. Wasn't that long. It was actually literally months ago that Wolf was just pushing the high 80s, right? So it knows how to live in the 70s as well, right? So 51 is still a pretty low RSI. Nice positive MACD right there. And then again, hut this thing hasn't quite done it but hey i would call this a good candle today give me a confirmation tomorrow and i think maybe 15 is on the way right so again positive act d low rsi that's a nice increase in volume these three have a lovely little story together and in a lot of ways i i, I just i see these in their own little crypto bucket because they're the smaller plays right like when i make my ai videos i put nvidia i put palantir in their own world and then i talk about the sound hounds the guard force the big bears when i talk evs you know tesla's in its own world and then the pole stars and the lucids and that's kind of what i do in every sector and you can see it here on bitcoin uh, mining etc etc right so um did I look at the weeklies across these three? Yeah, look at this thing, right? Again, the week still has a couple days, but oh my goodness, you break these and there's a nice, nice, nice channel all the way up to there. What does Wolf look like? Ooh, Wolf, are you trying to? You are, you're trying to break them all again on the weekly. There is no 200 moving average, so it's over four of four on the weekly. Nope, wrong button. And then BTBT. Again, look at this thing, right? If you can confirm, you got the 200 all the way up there in the fives. I think we just talked about the fives. Yeah, four something, 480 um, on BTBT. So yeah, I like these three. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, the last two I want to look at are Coinbase and, oh man, what's the Robin Hood and Hood, okay? So I've I've said, and again, I'm not saying that I'm the first one to say this. I'm sure a lot of people say these. I, I like these two because they've, they've established themselves in the crypto space, but they're also in a lot of ways a bank, right? And, and, and I kind of find these to be like SoFi a little bit. I think SoFi hasn't been as loud about being a crypto, but 
Um, I like coin and hood when crypto does well. And with coin and hood, I think it's important to look at the Dow Jones because you can see the Dow Jones does a nice, nice move from August onward. That's actually what hood does. And if I didn't see it, oh, that's not what this does. Again, not everything correlates the way it should, right? But in my head, these have Bitcoin plays and these have um, just being basic bank plays, right? So I have no idea what happened here. Obviously, I had a resistance line that, that didn't quite hit. And from there, it was just a matter of loot. Good channels up are bad channels down, and that is a beautiful example of it, right? As much as I would love to, if we were down here going here, that's what happens if you lose these four and the next one's down here, right? Like, as excited as I was on the hut weekly, that if we can break these four and go all the way up here, clearly the coin inverse was that right there, right? So um, nice little extra to see there. So again, I really have no idea what happened here. Maybe it was earnings for all I know. Again, what I'm looking at now is an interesting turnaround, right? We are just like that little tranche I just showed, right? We're trying to get over all the moving averages. We're seeing a golden cross of the eight and the 20. We're, I mean, sorry, the eight and the 50. We're seeing the 20 start to work its way up and more than likely gonna golden cross the 50 as well nice healthy rsi nice positive macd right there right hood looking even better hood is actually mirroring the dow jones as well as getting a little bit of strength from um what is it called from the bitcoin rise right so truth be told i expected coin and hood to look the same i think that's a lot of the beauty with me doing these non-rehearsed right you kind of see me react and get my my thoughts on the fly right so not all things correlate perfectly right if they did i would live in a nicer part of beverly hills and whatever whatever we'd all be on an island right but yeah we're here to set expectations and then we just kind of adjust from there right but hood overall the moving averages i think the same echo though hood look at all of these right as good as all of these look there really hasn't been a fantastic confirmation of all these two are arguably decent but if you're gonna break multiple moving averages on a single candle I have an extremely higher expectation for the confirmation after. Now, granted, great things have happened even though it didn't confirm. So, hey, even that rule is a little bit loose when you're looking at this, right? But I'm looking from September, what, no, what, from September 12th all the way through today's daily. None of this is confirmed. We're riding the eight really well. And hey, believe me, I see it and it's a good thing. And that's why I talk about loving these lines a lot, right? But yeah, nothing screams we've broken, broken. Maybe the argument is it happened back here. We never lost it and we're still sustaining. I've, I've, I've heard that before, but nonetheless, the point is I do like hood more than coin. So um, where the weeklies look at? Oh man, this is a good weekly. There is no 200 moving average. This is a red, 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 red. Hood might have a fantastic next week, right? That's a nice candle. That's an interesting doji. The candle after might take off, for all I know, to here to about 29, or it might come back down to like 25. That's not a bad risk reward right there coin let's see what coin looks like on the weekly this ain't a bad weekly right this thing is trying to escape it on the weekly it's trying to escape it on the daily that's actually a nice reversal on the rsi too you can see we've been here before right and i'm just looking yeah we've been here we lost it we've been here we took it we've been here we lost it we're back here right and it's been like sitting here so yeah i like hood more than coin on the daily and on the weekly right there hey let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions even if you disagree oh i appreciate you so so much